All right, so we know that if we find our constant of proportionality, which is also our slope from 0, 0 with 3 comma 6 fifths, that we'll be able to find our equation. And we can plug these points in here to see if they fit. So um, we're going to say 6 fifths is our y. Oh, sorry, we have our 3 comma 6 fifths, and that's our x comma y. And our constant of proportionality is going to be y over x. So 6 fifths divided by 3. Well, we could write that as 6 fifths divided by 3. And that's also going to equal 6 over 5 times, because this is 3 over 1, we reciprocate and we get 1 third. So 6 over 15, they both have a factor of 3, so we can simplify that to 2 fifths. So that's going to be our slope or our constant of proportionality. All right, so we know that that's going to equal y equals 2 fifths x. So now we plug in our points over here. I'm oh, sorry, we got that over here. So we know that y is going to equal 2 fifths over x. Excuse me, 2 fifths of x. So now we plug it in here to say y equals 2 fifths x. So our y is 0 0.4, and does that equal 2 fifths times 1? Okay, so uh, it does because 2 fifths times 1 equals 0 0.4. All right, then we have 6 tenths for our y equals 2 fifths of 1.5. Well, I know that 1.5 is also equal to 3 halves, so 6 over 10 equals 2 fifths times 3 over 2. Let's see if that's right. 2 times 3 is 6. 5 times 2 is 10. So 6 tenths equals 6 tenths. So A and B both work. And then we say 3 equals 2 fifths times our x, which is 6 fifths. Okay, so 2 times 6 is 12. 5 times 5 is 25. And 25 twelfths definitely does not equal 3. 25 twelfths isn't equal to one whole even, so C does not work. Now 11 fifths equals 2 fifths times 4. Let's see if that works out. Again, this is 4 over 1. 2 times 4 is 8. 5 times 1 is 5. 8 fifths does not equal 11 fifths, so that's not true. And then 6 equals 2 fifths times 15. And that's 15 over 1, so 2 times 15 is 30 over 5. 30 fifths equals 6 wholes, or 6 over 1, and that equals that. So E does work out also. So A, B, and E are our um, points that are on that line. Okay. Number 3. Number 3 says, let's get this lined up here. A trail mix recipe asks for 4 cups of raisins, for every six cups of peanuts. There's a proportional relationship between the amount of raisins, R cups, and the amount of peanuts, P cups, in this recipe. A says write the equation for the relationship that has constant of proportionality greater than one. Graph the relationship. Write the equation for the relationship that has a constant of proportionality less than one and graph that relationship. All right, so the way that we're gonna figure this out is by looking at what the constant of proportionalities are telling us and how we can figure those out. 